Now, PMI isn't saying solve conflict for those who have it. No, they want you to facilitate it, though. They also want you to have ground rules so people know, all right, if there's a conflict situation, this is what I do. And Reina, to be honest, in corporate America, all the training I've done and globally, very few teams tell me, oh, yeah, we have a team charter or we have a social contract that helps us understand how to manage conflict. A lot of them don't, but they should. Just because people are adults doesn't mean they're good at managing conflict. So PMI say you should evaluate, recommend, and reconcile the appropriate conflict resolution solution. So you gotta understand what is best. I'll give you a quick example. I used to work right here in this building upstairs for a gaming company. And in the company, I wasn't getting along very well with a pro program manager or manager in the firm. And my boss would hear us bickering you get so fed up. And then you got to a point he said, both of you, I'm fed up. Here's a credit card. Go to lunch together and solve your problems. I'm fed up of hearing about this. So I'm behind the wheel and my coworker, I'll call her Grace, we end up driving to this restaurant. And as we're going, we end up in conversation and realize we actually have more in common than we thought. I'm into music. She's dating someone who's into the world of music, and we found common ground. Long story short, we came back to the office peacefully, <laughs> peacefully, and we were able to resolve conflict, but that wouldn't have happened if my boss didn't step in and say, hey, I'm fed up, here's my credit card, lunch is on me, go sort out your problems. I don't care what you do, just solve them. And that's an example of reconciling the appropriate conflict resolution solution. 